My premise is that we have a metropolitan revolution underway in the United States. And what that means is city and metropolitan areas and the networks of leaders who govern them are grappling with supersized challenges and they understand they're on their own. You know, Washington uh, is not riding to their rescue because they're stuck in partisan conflict. Um, so a lot of the internal party fights or ideological fights you see in national government or in state government don't really happen at the city and metropolitan level. People just want to get stuff done. And it's not just the leaders. I mean, we're talking about ordinary citizens. They're, they're on Twitter, they're on Facebook, they're on LinkedIn. They're, they're trying to do essentially what I would call a do-it-yourself urbanism. They are responding with pragmatism, energy, and ambition to, as we say in America, get stuff done. And I think that really is aligned with the new disruptive nature of our moment, which is that uh, we're much more of a networked world than a hierarchical world. We're much more crowdsourced than closed-sourced. And so cities and metros seem almost ready-made to take advantage of that new disruption. If you want to grow an innovation economy, it's not just about that interplay between advanced ideas and production. You don't build a thriving economy by building houses. You build a thriving economy by being first in class on production and innovation and trade. And then you build houses as people grow wealthy right, and their incomes rise. So we had it the wrong way. I think every city in Metropolis really on their own needs to understand what is your distinct vision, what makes you special in the world today, and then what's the game-changing initiative to help leverage you up. How does this relate to the Netherlands? I mean, when Americans look at the Netherlands, when we look at Europe more broadly, what we see is, is a continent that evolved from a network of trading cities, your Hanseatic League. And we think that history, that legacy, is something really to build on. Um, before there were nation states, there were cities. Before there were European, a European Union, there was a network of trading cities. So go back to your roots and enable and empower and catalyze growth within your cities and metropolitan areas.